Hello everybody, uh, this is a new project that we're going to model today and uh, I found this uh, quite interesting actually I found it on my Instagram feed and uh, uh, I actually saw this image and I wasn't sure if it's like a, a real image or is it a real project or not then I did a little bit of research and I found out that this project is actually built and uh, uh, it was a little bit strange to me because you, saw, you see all this white space that seems like sky and I was I was wondering if this is like a, a construction that's like hanging up in the air but then uh, when I researched it a bit I saw that it's just the frame of the images like this so that's that's what looks like this but uh, let me show you how the project looks like in real life so this is it and it's called this is the physical model of, of the project and it's called uh, 0914 flagship store. Uh, it was designed by True Architects and it's located in Seoul in South Korea. So we're going to model this uh, building now, this facade, and I'll show you some very cool uh, simple principles that you can use to actually model this quite quickly. So let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to actually drag and drop some of these images here. Uh, let's see in my front view and uh, I'm gonna uh, start here from zero and then I'm just gonna expand it like this and let's go full screen that should be enough and now uh, we can change here the opacity a little bit and uh, lock this and now uh, the principle is that uh, the basic principle uh, that we're going to use uh, is going to be just subtraction. So we're going to model this cube and then we're going to subtract these elements from this big cube. So uh, as you may notice, this is not uh, like the real uh, front view. It's actually a little bit skewed. So uh, it's not going to be uh, perfectly aligned with this building, but we're going to do the best we can to actually uh, get it as close as possible. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to uh, set some uh, some axis. So for example, I'm gonna set this axis here and I'm gonna mirror this axis on the other side. And then I will also set up one more axis, let's say here. And uh, I'll also mirror that on the other side. And as you can see, the distance there is correct. So I also want to check this distance. I want to use the div divide three segments. And I also want to copy this segment here. So I know what is my, um, what is my division there. And also I want to do the similar thing on the top. So this will be just like my guide, guide, uh, guiding lines so that I don't miss uh, anything here. So let's say that this is something that will work and I'll copy this now here. Like so. All right, so now we have some kind of grid that we're going to be using. And uh, in addition to that, we can uh, maybe create one more uh, axis here, which will be um, this one in the middle, like this one. And I can mirror that axis on the opposite side as well. And now you can see that we have much clearer uh, grid of how we are going to draw this, this uh, construction. Uh, so uh, one more thing that we can do, we can add these, um, add this axis from the from these points so that's, that's the, basically the place where these should start and end uh, again this is perspective so it's not gonna match so that's fine but uh, I think overall we have what we need here and now I'm just going to use polyline and I will create uh, these uh, lines there It doesn't matter which way you go, it's just just about getting those, those, those lines uh, ready. And once you have this, uh, we'll be able to continue 
uh, with the rest. So let's go here and maybe let's copy this angle here as well. And let's use trim to trim everything else like this. And I think that is fine. And uh, now let me just check here on the bottom. Uh, yeah, we have here one more X that axis that we can add for this guy. But overall, that's it. So now the next step is uh, to create some kind of uh, some kind of modules uh, from these uh, from these elements. So uh, we're actually going to draw also these windows because these windows will uh, will be the same. I think there is like two sizes of these windows. So I'm just gonna copy them all around here. You can see this one is actually on the edge, so we can, we can move it all the way there. And let's move this one here. And let's move it also here on the edge. And the small one, let's move there. And let's put it in the position here, like this. Uh, and also the height should be there, I think. Yeah. And this one also and here also okay uh, they should also be the same height like this so this means that let's keep this one as the main one and we can bring this guy down like this okay and uh, that should be that should be it I think uh, this guy can go here All right, we have here one more, something like this, and this guy here, and one more here on this side. All right, all right, let's go up. Now we take this guy and we go all the way here. You can see here the perspective lines. This is the perspective line. So if it goes like this, it means that it's gonna be in this direction. So maybe I'm actually off here. I need to go so, something like this. And the small window will go up like this like this and uh, this guy is going to go on the end somewhere around here I hope I got this right uh, I think I did but uh, let's let's see okay so this one goes up as well and this one goes here I think these two are gonna go a little bit here on the left and this one will stay there I'll just bring it down and that should do it all right so now we have uh, what we need and now I'm going to uh, we need to create here uh, the actual elements there so I'm going to use curve boolean all right so now what, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually create uh, the modules for these houses. So I'm gonna click for example This is going to be first one Then this is going to be the second one And uh, the la these three as well Alright, so once I have these three, I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. And this last element here. And I think we should be fine there. Now we can hide these guys. And let's basically copy this over just to see what we have. Let's delete anything that we don't need. 
And let's see if this looks uh, normal. I think it does. Yep. All right. And one last thing that we didn't uh, do, we didn't put the curve boolean for these guys. This one and these two. So let's do curve boolean like for these two. And uh, one last thing is I'm going to do curve boolean for the whole thing to have this line. Okay, so I think we're ready now. Let's go to the perspective and let's see what we can do now. So uh, we said that this is going to be the, we're going to subtract things. So I'm going to create a rectangle uh, that is basically our volume. And I'm just going to extrude it here. We're not gonna worry about the back for now. And let's cap this. And now we have a couple of things we can do. First, uh, what we can do is uh, we can either subtract all the way back and then push and pull everything else in front. That's one way. Second way is to just push uh, one thing at a time and then approximately get uh, get those extrusions correct. So here, if you look at this, you can see that there is multiple plans there. So I think this is the first one. This is the second one. And I think uh, this second one is the same as the top one. And then we have uh, two more, which are these in the back. So uh, we're going to treat it this way. I think I think that's how it should go. So let's let's do this. So first, I'm going to extrude this guy on the on the bottom. And let's extrude, for example, until let's say, uh, let's say 20. Uh, and uh, let's say that this is, let's cap it and let's do Boolean difference. And now we have this guy. And now uh, we'll extrude this uh, part here at the, at the bottom. I think this part should be uh, also going way in the back. So let's say that this guy will be like something like 15. Let's say 15. Uh, let's do boolean difference and that's gonna be that and now let's see with these other ones so we said that the first plan will be this guy at the beginning here so let's do him and let's say that it will be like maybe four let's do boolean difference there it is uh, now uh, we said the second one will be this one on the top and this one here this one here and this one on the top. So I'm gonna say extrude curve and because this is four, this will be, let's say a six. And let's do Boolean difference. And that should be it. And now let's do, uh, let's do these two. Let's do first this one. So let's do eight, for example, Boolean difference. And this one I think is the farthest. So let's, let's bring him like 10 Boolean difference. Okay, so we're getting something. And now these, uh, these guys in the middle, they're going all the way behind. So they're going even further. So let's do them like 12. All right, so let's do Boolean difference on this one first and then boolean difference with this one and there you go that's the difference and here we have one more and let's do that one as well let's do 12 boolean difference and there it is so that should be that should be our let me just show you what we got so we got this these elements that were just like in that in that project here and the last thing is to add all those windows that we drew. So let me just quickly, uh, I'm gonna isolate those curves and I'm gonna take out anything that we don't need, which is all of these. Like this. And uh, that would be our windows. So one cool trick you can do is you can select all of these windows 
you can go to the front view and you can say you, you also need to set up here the front uh, C plane and uh, now it, what you can do you can say project and you can click here and once that is done you will have the projection of all of these lines directly there on the model uh, now I'm gonna isolate these two to show you what we got you can see here that we got here like some kind of uh, a problem but that's fine we're going to deal with this and let me just hide it and we just have a couple of those we don't need these ones in the back so I'm gonna explode this and join these guys same thing here just explode all of these actually this one you can just delete explode delete join join and this one as well you can explode and then you can select delete and join all right so we have all of them now let's uncover our geometry and uh, the easiest way that create these windows is by using the split command here so we're just going to select the whole thing split cutting objects are all of these lines and now we have our windows here they are so uh, that that should be that should be the process and of course if you want to add more details you can do so you can maybe extrude this window or uh, uh, extrude it inward then you can say extract surface and take take it out like this so that's something that that I like to do so let's go again uh, I'll show you the, this process for everything for for each one of them so you select all of them you can just select uh, the whole thing, deselect it, deselect this one, uh, go like this, and then just extrude just slightly, like this. And once you once you have that, you can just go to the front view, and you can say extract surface, and you can just click on the fronts here. And once you click on all of them, uh, enter. And delete and I have this these uh, windows there like this and one last thing you can do to clean out this mess you can say merge all faces now you don't have this and you can say select curves hide and there you go all right so that will be our model uh, if you have any questions regarding this or regarding any of the commands used please let me know in the comments below and you can also put your suggestions for future tutorials in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe if you're first time here uh, because i upload these videos uh, every week so that would be all for today take care and see you soon